Ironically, three hours after I dropped my video theorizing and discussing potential ideas that might be coming with the Epic SMP server update that was announced a couple of days ago, Trevor released a trailer pretty much outlining what this update's gonna be, and then the update got released itself. Yeah, yeah, timing's like impeccable with me, so yeah, we'll, we'll have a video a little bit later in the day, probably at the time where everyone's sleeping, but that's besides the point. So today we're gonna be taking a look at that trailer, breaking down all the new bits and pieces of information that we're getting with this, as well as potentially look into it a little bit deeper than what you may have even thought was possible. So before we get into that, make sure to subscribe down below for more epic SMP based content. Let's roll the beginning of the trailer. Hello fellow crafters. Welcome back to the epic SMP. It seems like everyone has had their time to settle down and integrate themselves quite nicely into the community. However, there's a looming presence in town. A powerful businessman and a bustling industrial leader, both whom are dominating the land and dictating the very flow of this new upcoming society. I honestly love this beginning how it just points out how both Swagger Souls and Jay Slat are just doing their own thing and getting so far ahead of everyone else is not even funny. Because it's completely true. Both Jay Slat and Swagger Souls have spent so much time on the server that they're just that far ahead of everyone else that it, it's just like a bit unfair. So it does stand out that they are technically speaking the leaders of the world right now and and so it's going to be interesting to see what they address further on in this trailer but that is not all that has been happening others are still trying to find their belonging and see how they will fit into this newfound story we'll just have to keep a close eye on everyone and an even closer eye on the mysteries of this land as a person who's been trying to keep up with all the lore and potential story building behind this world, I'm definitely intrigued the fact that they are willing to go out and say that, hey, there is a story along with this world. You may not ha want to watch it or care about it, but there is definitely a story to go along with this world, and a lot of fun information that you guys are going to definitely want to enjoy, as well as the mysteries of this world, which I definitely believe is a great thing to have. Like, I understand that a lot of people just want a normal Minecraft server, but at the same time, that is been done to death by literally hundreds of times over so it's good that we have each and every time a new server begins it has its own fresh take whether it be the extraordinarily heavily scripted heavily story driven server called dream smp or whether it's this one here where basically survival with a few mods but there's also a story in the background that some people will bite head on either way let's continue on what's this boats so it would appear that there are some newcomers to the land and it seems like they brought something with them. So, so, okay, we already had the knowledge that there were going to be some new people added in sooner or later. Like, it's been rumored, it's been told by Matt that there are people going to be added in, that he's looking to get more people in the server. But it looks like that they're going to connect it to some form of lore. And considering that it looks like that one of the things they're introducing is rats as an animal, I feel like that that's only being introduced in for an extraordinarily heavy lore reason, which, honestly, I look forward to see what comes out of this. And in the next couple of days, I'll definitely be working on some form of lore theory theory to go along with this new information, as well as trying to study what's happening in the server about the rats. Either way, let's roll forward with this trailer. And that is the full trailer kind of broken down. At the end there, we got to see the three mods that are now in the server. So first off, that gives us confirmation that there was only a single actual mod that changes the game in massive ways, which was Create, back when the server was initially launched. Basically, we had the theory that there was six mods that, according to Forge, would load each and every time someone loaded into the world. We could decipher that. One was Proximity Chat, another is probably Multiplayer Sleep, and a few little multiplayer handy tools that run in a decent server that with lots of people on a different time frames throughout the day and then we also of course had the create mod added in now we're having rats and an archiculture 2 okay self-correction aquaculture 2 <laughs> 
I don't know how I butchered it that badly, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. So essentially, Aquaculture 2 has definitely been one that's been mentioned by Twerva a few times in his streams, on like things that he might want to introduce into the server, and I feel like this one's more just for beauty and just for extra aesthetical things that you can do on the server, fun stuff to add to the server like the Create mod does. But Rats, the Rats mod, now that is a mod that I believe is only here for story and lore reasons, because they decided to say that, hey, these newcomers came from boats, and it looks like they had rats brought with them. And I already have a few theories cooking up in my head about this one after I saw this one when I was heading into work earlier today, so I definitely have some theories going on in my head about the rats thing, and I'll definitely be taking a dive into some theories in a couple of days' time before the recap on the weekend. They want to have noties on, because that's going to be coming out in a couple of days' time. I'm going to be scripted and working on that over the next couple of days. I'm going to be trying to keep up with the streams and give you more information at the end of the week in the recap. Either way, guys, I'm Crazy. Thank you for 5,000 subscribers, and goodbye.